Let me show you some code. JavaScript proposes more than one way to program. To illustrate this uh, wide versatility, we propose to program a counter with two operations, increment and reset. The first attempt uses only function. The counter is represented by a function with the get set interface, that is, without argument this is a get, that is an incrementation, with one argument this is a reset. Note that the type of a counter is function, but since the counter is a closure, no one can see or even modify the inner and private counter variable. The second attempt uses objects and no class. The counter is represented by an object with two methods, increment and reset. The type is object, but someone in the know can access the counter property and do bad things on it. A variant is to use get and set accessors. The counter is still an object, but this syntax allows us to use the dotted notation to read or write the counter. Reading the value property of the counter triggers the get value closure and increment the counter, while assigning the value property of the object triggers the set value closure that resets the counter. Due to the syntax, the inner counter variable is closed by the setter and the getter and no one else can access it. The last attempt uses a class. The counter is a, an instance of the class counter with two methods, reset and increment. However, since the counter is an object, it cannot prevent the access to the counter property. You may also combine these different styles, but at the end, depending on the characteristics you want and on the programming context, you may choose one among many styles.